You know, we're all trying to find in business, you know, I, I, I've got another mantra. I, I don't believe in telling people what to do. Uh, I think the, the, the mission of business is to help people, mm -hmm. uh, is to do what you say you're going to do, be respectful, uh, uh, be trustworthy, tell mm -hmm. them the truth, even if yeah. it's something they don't want to hear. Yep. Um, I really think that's, if you do those things, you've got a chance to, 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 to make it work. Right. Do, tell me about that. Well, in other words, why aren't we doing this all the time? Yes. What, is, what stops us from just being open and saying, you know, here's the car. We're going to, if we add some stuff that you like, it, it's going to raise the price. If you heard that up front, how would you feel about that person? Yeah. Right? Yeah. He brought me the car and, and, and had all the stuff on. Yeah. And I liked everything that was there. And he told me it was $82,000. Oh, we never. Oh. It's always. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. Well, we pull back and we think that they're, they're making a sale on you as opposed to building you as a customer that's going to want to come back for car after car after car. Even in, in our little companies, our big companies, leaders who try to tell you what to do mm -hmm. uh, shuts me down also. Mm -hmm. Why? What, what happens inside of you when somebody d does that to you, when they I, use that leadership? I feel they're trying to establish their superiority on me, mm -hmm. that I'm smart, smarter than you. Yeah. Or uh, I've got all this knowledge base, and I'm going to tell you this, and you just accept it. I'm not going to give you a chance to share in the conversation. Yep. I like it much better when they say, Fran, what do you think about this? Yeah. What, what, what's your take of this or that or whatever it might be? Yeah. Then we have a, a chance to have a conversation, and he recognizes that maybe I have a brain. Right. Maybe I have ideas. Right. And he's, he's, he's willing to have a conversation with me. Mm. I like that. Well, I want to compare those two because it's really dramatic about what happens inside when you have a telling leader or when you have an asking leader, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. the, the telling, and I want to hear a little bit more about because you, you reeled off. You know, when he tells me, it makes me feel all these different ways inside. And you could, in a nanosecond, sometimes in .07 seconds, we get a read on somebody. If they're a teller, yeah. all those things like a wheel that you saw inside. Um, he's not going to be open to my ideas. Uh, I might be afraid if I push back that he's going to say no. Um, there are a lot of things that were actions that you called up in a nanosecond, experiences that you've had with people that are tellers yeah. that, that said, I, I already know where that's gonna go. That model doesn't work, right? I'll even go back to my athletic days. My high school coach was a yellow screamer. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't develop as much under him. Mm -hmm. I didn't think as much under him, mm -hmm. uh, but he was just abusive. Mm. Uh, and we won football games. I was just gonna ask you what to- <laughs> Yeah, but it was but like, it, it was, he we, would, take us to physical extremes that were ridiculous. Oh and I know training, I know all that. And, 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 and it, was, it was his way of leadership. I am tough and I am mean and I'm aggressive mm -hmm. and I'm gonna get my point on with yelling and screaming. Yeah. I shut down. Mm. And what does shut down look like when you were? Shut down looks like I go and I question him. Mm. I, 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 I don't like him. Mm -hmm. I don't trust him. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's got my best interest in mind. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I really came close. Here I am, an all-star football player with all the skills and everybody. Want, and I, in my senior year, I came this close to quitting. Wow. Wow. And, and How did you get through that? I, I don't know. Hmm. I guess I'm strong-willed, determined. I, I love playing football. I love figuring it out. I love figuring it out more than playing it. Yeah. I love figuring it out. Yeah. Yeah, you know, how to position myself and how to think football and how to complete a pass and how to make a step over here, a step over here. All that was kind of scientific to me that yeah. just, and, and I didn't want to give that up. I wanted to play at the next level. Mm. So if I quit here, right, I, I would not be able to play at the next yeah. level. I'm ask, I want to ask a, like a private question. Yeah. At that moment when you were feeling that this guy was doing bad to your life, doing bad yeah. for you, did you make a choice to say, I don't want to, I'm going to be the boss now. I'm going to go to where I know I can get the answers. I'm going to go to me. Did that help you? Or in other words, because you, you stayed in the game and you got better. So you had some way of facilitating something in your mind at the moment when you had a bad boss. You didn't let him subsume you. Well, I knew only, only yeah. going to have me for about five more weeks and I was going to get rid of you. <laughs> and, 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 and I think that was, and so I, I was yeah. 
able to have continuity. Yeah. But my college coach was just as bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> and that guy, I, 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 after about three games of my sophomore season, I – I, I walked out. Mm -hmm. told so him, you did. I you told said him, no. I said that no. That was your way of saying no. No more. And, and you know what? Yeah. He sent people out to get me to come back. Wow. And he apologized, and, he, and I didn't get that anymore. Wow. See, that's what you just what we just talked about is what happens in companies all the time. Yeah. We have a boss that's really tough, right? Yeah. And they play out their, their ego or they play out their authority on someone. And most people don't have the courage to stand up and walk out, which is what you did. Yeah. Right. I mean, and because we're all afraid we're going to lose our job, we're going to lose whatever it is. Right. So. But so many people in business, they want to tell you what to do, dictate what you do. Right. And you, l you l lose the joy of thinking. Right. And exactly. developing yourself in your own mind, and your own brain. You know, we work with hundreds of thousands of entrepreneurs. And, and really what I tell them, we want you to think differently. Yeah. We want you to think. Yeah. Use your brain. <laughs> exactly. Because. We can't get smarter, can we? Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't even know what we don't know, and we don't know what we do know until people ask us questions. I don't know. Does that make sense? Yes. It's it's like the watchword. I, I have this circle that I draw a lot of times on the wall for leaders, and one it's like a pie. One piece of the pie is you know you know. That's all the stuff you already yeah. know about, right? There's another piece of the pie is you know you don't know. So there's a lot of stuff you don't know about, yeah. whatever, right? Mm -hmm. There's two pies that are the most fascinating that have to do with what we're talking about. One is you don't know you know. And until somebody asks you good questions to pull something out of you, like, how would you handle the situation if you were the boss? Well, nobody's ever asked me that before. Okay, well, pretend you were me. You pretend you were the CEO. How would you handle that? And all of a sudden, our brain starts to think about all the things that we might do. And maybe we never thought about it before, but it's in us. And that's what I, you're talking about, is how do we get leaders to pull that wisdom out of us just by a great question that forces us to think about how to solve something that we've never done before? Does that make sense? Yes. But it all comes back to something that you talk about. It comes back to trust, integrity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is that such a hard deal? Why is that? Why is that such a? We, we all you know criticize the politicians in Washington, dysfunctionality of that, and big businesses, and Wall Street, and 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 private equity firms, and the money driven, and all the stuff. And yeah. everybody likes to make money. Sure, we all do. Sure. But again, I'll go back to, to my mission. My mission is in my life is to is to help other people, mm -hmm. to make friends, yep. to build relationships. But it's it's built on if I am deceiving, if I am, the, I'm the, I'm telling them what to do. Mm -hmm. I'm dictating to them, and mm -hmm. if you don't do this, then this is the consequence. It's a bad deal. Yeah, and I've been that kind of right. Doesn't why is it such a hard thing for us to to grab? in these companies that that. You know, I work with a lot of big box companies. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the the and and they're having trouble being relevant, right? Because their products are not relevant anymore, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they haven't listened to their customers. And people are buying off the internet, and they're not going into the big department stores or the mm -hmm. big box stores, and going less. And 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 many of them have and are suffering. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So how, well, do they, how do they change? Well, I, wa I want to pick up a little bit on um, one part of the trust question that I think okay. that would be interesting for us to pull apart a little okay. bit, and then we can go on to, to that. And that is that there's some things that cause us to distrust somebody. And we know, like you were talking about power and yeah. all those kinds of things yeah. that we find in business. A lot of times people who have power will um, tell little lies. They were called, you know, like white lies about the business, or they'll say, you know, if you invest in us, if it's a financial company, invest in us, and you know, you're going to make triple on your money. Yeah. Some of that is because they're good salesmen, and sometimes they don't really care. Sometimes they think they can do it. They don't know the future, but they're going to play that card anyway. Yeah. That's one type of person where they sort of know it can maybe may happen, but they don't care. Yeah. They're going to they're going to push that way because they're going to they're going to get somebody to sign that on the on the dotted line. That's that's an ego driven. It's a high powered kind of person who uses, it doesn't care as much about the level of trust as much as what's going to be the economic gain. That's mm -hmm. my thinking, right? Yeah. All right, that's one thing. There's another type of distrust or trust where you hope something will happen in the future, but you're, you, you're not hurting the person. You don't have bad intentions. It's not about money. It's just that you believe that something might happen and you play your best game but it doesn't come out that way because there are all sorts of extraneous things that happen around that change the end result. That's where it's not intentional, where it's just that you didn't predict the future well enough. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times we say, you know, that, that happens too. One is more of the ego-driven, I don't really care about the yeah. impact. And the other is life happens. And sometimes 
those gaps between what we expect to happen and what actually happens are resident in all human beings throughout our lives in so many situations. It's the way our brains work, it's the way life works. The great leaders are ones that are, what you said, are more transparent about the, the truth. In other words, I think it's gonna be a, a good outcome for us. I think if we go this way, it's gonna work. But you know what, there's some obstacles, let's talk about them so we can get prepared together. That kind of leader, I would trust more because they're saying, we want this future to happen but I'm willing to share with you where the problems are so we can work them out together. That's a completely, that takes trust and puts it down into a place where I, I, I want to know yeah. what's going on. A different kind of interaction with people. And what if someone asks me a question and I don't have a clear thought about that question? Should I say I don't have a clear thought or should I try to make up something? So, and yeah, you all, we know the answer, right? So if you actually tell them the truth, people respect and trust you more than if you make up something, and especially if the, that what you've made up doesn't and work. And this is so important. I, uh, yesterday afternoon, I had a professional coach mm -hmm. talk to me about Johnny Mansell, the quarterback at Texas A&M, mm -hmm. and uh, get my opinion. And I thought about it, and I said, well, keep in mind, I've, never, I've only watched him on television. Mm -hmm. I've never watched him in person. I've never talked to him, never watched him on, uh, uh, on, 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 on tape where I can run the film back and forth and mm -hmm. see all of his moves. Right. I really think he's a quarterback savant. Mm -hmm. he, un, all those moves he does, mm -hmm. and he goes right, left, he knows where to go, it's all instinctive and right. good. It, 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 the brain's working. Right. He's figuring that out, and he's, he's got to that, that, that point. However, I, his behavior last year when he walked out of Archie Manning and Eli and Peyton Manning's camp and mm -hmm. didn't show up and he had all kind of behavioral issues, I mm -hmm. said, that would be a problem for me. I'd have mm -hmm. to have a better understanding of that. But I, you know, and so I thought I gave him an honest answer. What do you think? Did you say to him? Did you call him on, on those behaviors? Yeah, I, I, that's yeah. what I talked to. The, I, I, yeah. I, to, I to, told him about that. But I also qualified. I've never, I've never watched film of him playing. I've never met him. Never mm -hmm. talked to him. Yep. And I said, but so I like these things, but I have questions about these things. Right, right. And when people hear that, again, I'm, you know, I think about the brain and what's yeah. going on in the brain when you're hearing that. Yeah. When you hear that, I say, oh my God, this person's opening up what's really in their mind to me. Yeah. They're not trying to say they're the best or the, they know everything. They're actually saying, you know, this is where I stand. I can give you my best shot. I don't know them that well. I haven't watched all the tapes, but here's what I'm thinking about what I'm seeing. I would be so drawn to people that speak that way to me. Most people yeah. are because yeah. that's when you say, I can trust you, you'll tell me the truth. If you don't yeah. know, you don't know. I remember recently I was talking about my book and I was in front of a group of people and somebody threw a, qu a hook question to me and I didn't know how to answer it. And I, my part of my mind said, this is, you're supposed to know this stuff. You know, maybe you should come up with something even if you don't know it. And then I said, wait a minute, let me just be honest with everybody. I'm not sure I could answer that question for all of you right now. I don't, I think I don't know enough right now. Even though I'm an expert, I, I don't know how to answer that. People came over to me afterwards and they said, that was a high point for them because most people try to pretend. You know, they try to, that doesn't mean we shouldn't take a guess at a good answer, but we know the difference when we're kind of. Yeah, know. and that's a, that's a great lesson for you people. I think if you're already practicing that good, it, but, but do it 100% of the time yeah. uh, because if someone asks us a question, yeah. they're trusting us. Yeah. They're having faith in us to tell, to tell, tell them really how we feel. Right.